Greetings in the name of the Most High Yah. It's King Yediya, aka King Solomon, staying wise in life and in these markets. Today is the 14th of September 2022. It's 1.42 p.m. Um, I'm going to do a trade recap on NVIDIA. So let's start with the, um, the Camarilla setup for today. Let's see, pull out the Epic Pen. Where is it? Come on, hurry up, hurry up. I'm kind of running late today, so... If this Epic Pen don't show up soon, I'ma just do it without the Epic Pen. Alright, no Epic Pen. Okay, so, um, oh, one second, one second, that's my oven, damn. Yeah, as you can see, I'm running wrong for real. Um, so, let's see, the Camarilla levels yesterday, S3 was at approximately 144.2. And today R3 is at 133.55, S3 is at 129.11, right? So, let's see, staying on the 15-minute chart. So, let me just make this bigger. So, looking at the, the value area, right? So, in the pre-market, we opened within value of the previous day like you can see it right here so yesterday's close was around let's see around one to the one to the one so today we opened above the close but within value of the price range of yesterday right so you can see the price range yesterday and we open within that right so it's a lower value relationship on the camera rollers i don't know if i specified that or if i made a mistake um couple of seconds ago but it's a it's a lower value relationship so we're supposed to be looking for shorts right so the thing is in a lower value relationship we're actually opening within value within the prior the prior price range and we're opening bullish right so what you could be looking for is like a r3 rejection to to get the sell-off right because if it was opening below s3 then it's more like my Papa Bear strategy where you get the retest of S3 and then you, you take the short, right? So this is opening strong for a lower value relationship in the Camarillas, right? Plus it's opening within value. So price range, price kind of broke, broke value in the pre-market and the pre-market low was 130.70, right? So then we start pushing back into value. So at the open when we i think i don't know how this candle played out first but we opened here at um right so we opened here and then we flushed down right so one to the 254 we push up a little bit so i kind of took the breakdown here of s2 anticipating the flush down so looking at this kind of like the rejection off of our tree and um kind of late to the party i guess but you know took that it bounced off of S3, so broke even on that trade, little profit. Then I took two shorts here of the rejection. Oh, let me make it bigger now. Right, so took the rejection off of VWAP, added to the position here. And um, that kind of broke even as well. Made, made some profit with that trade as well. Because of the VWAP retest right there, so went short right there. And then kind of break even this trade, but it was profitable, right? So then went short again here at um, 129.88. Re VWAP rejection added to the, the short, then closed out here when we, we bounced off of um, lower VWAP, right? So that's another profitable trade. Went long here on this reversal at um, 129.95 and stopped out of the re um, VWAP rejection right there at 130.25 so that's another profitable trade this was the only loser here um, went short right here at 130.94 and stopped out when we broke above upper VWAP line that red line so then went long here at um, 131.26 stopped out here on the rejection of upper VWAP 
at 131.42 went short here it it bounced off a view up stopped out small profit right there at 131.12 stopped out and then went short here again at 130 131.02 and stopped out with this this bounce back up to view up here closed out at 130.75 so just staying more disciplined kind of being more nimble not holding trades too much it has to prove itself to me any rejections or support or stuff like that i'm out the trade right because in this kind of value relationship we're supposed to be getting like a continuation of the sell-off but now we're getting this um this movement within value right so nothing is really happening today if it comes back and breaks s3 then we'll start moving out of value but today is like an inside value day it's just moving sideways kind of like a typical day right so it's a large initial balance from 132.90 to um 129.15 and price is just playing around inside there all right y'all i gotta go it's your boy king yadiya aka king solomon staying wise in life and in these markets and y'all trade safe and stay blessed